Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and this time I will show you guys 25 free CD tweaks that are compatible with iOS 11.3.1. Movable 9. This tweak lets you rearrange the items on the status bar. As you can see right here, I will I have the clock on the left side, not on the center. So you enable the tweak right here, then you go to sort order and from here you can just basically drag any status bar item and place it wherever you want. Color my battery will change the color of the battery indicator on the status bar based on the percentage of battery that you have left. So under the settings here, you can see the percentages and then the color that it will display on the indicator right here. You can of course change that color to any color that you like. Just pick a color here and then it will display that color once that percentage is reached. You can also change the color for the low power mode and also for when your device is charging. iCleaner Pro is a well-known jailbreak app. It allows you to clean up your device, remove all the junk files of the files that you don't need and save a lot of space. So of course, this is the app right here. You can analyze first or you can go directly to the clean. So if you tap there, analyze, it will analyze your device and see how much space it can save on your device. Of course, my device right here has recently been restored and I don't believe it will we will see a lot of space here to clean but it really works well and will save you a ton of space on your device. Hide Labels 10 is another simple tweak but it will make your device look much cleaner. As for the home screen of course, what it does is that it will completely remove all of the labels at the icons on the home screen of your iOS 11.3.1 device. 5 Icon Dock 11. This tweak allows you to have one more icon on the dock of your device. Normally, of course, on iOS we have just 4 icons, but with this tweak installed, now you can have 5 icons on the dock. Walmart. This one is pretty cool. It will change the wallpaper of your device every time you unlock your device. So you can see the wallpaper right here. If I unlock my device, and unlock it again, you can see it will set a different wallpaper. So every time you unlock your device, you will have a fresh wallpaper. So here are the settings to enable the tweak right here. Then you can choose the mode. You can choose it for the lock screen and home screen or just one of them. And then you have here photo album. So if I go to home screen right here, I can choose an album that I have on my photos app and set the photos from that album to be set as a wallpaper of my device. Blackout CC is a tweak for the control center which will make the control center black. It looks really really dope. So if you go to the settings of this tweak, what we have here is an enable button. Then you can hide the status bar in the control center. Then you have different switches here. Here is where you enable the black control center. You can also enable black folders. You can hide the page dots, hide the folder labels and also hide the blur which is the background of the folders. Boulder, so this tweak will bring a completely new look to the folders of your iOS 11.3.1 device. You can see right here, if I open the folder, it's completely different. So it's on full screen, here it will show the title of the folder, of course that will be on a larger text right there, and also it will show you up there how many apps you have within that folder. CC Alarm ETA, this tweak will add the time you have left here until until your alarm goes off right here on the alarm switch on the control center. So you can see right here under the clock, it will show you the time left until the alarm. It will do the same with the lock screen. On the lock screen right here, will have a clock that shows you the time that you have left. Date in status bar. This tweak will add the current date on the status bar. So normally here you will have just the clock, but with date in status bar installed, you will also have the current date right there. Quick Volume Hood Plus is a much needed tweak for the volume hood. It allows to set the speed in which the volume hood will disappear. Normally it takes, I believe, like three or four seconds for it to disappear and it really interrupts you on your screen. I don't know why Apple is not changing this volume hood. And you can see right here how fast now it will disappear just like that. And it also has an animation. You can see when it shows up, it's pretty, pretty cool. So if you go to the settings of this tweak, you can enable it right here. You can enable the animation and you can set here the duration of the volume hood with this slider. Deny photo albums is a tweak for the photos app. It allows you to hide any albums that you want 
from the photos app so you enable the tweak right here then you have the switches here so you can hide for example the people's album or the places you can also hide the preview you can see right here now if i go to the photos app you can see if i go to my albums i have hidden all of them and you can see right there there is no preview normally it, it's i believe the last photo that you take it will be a preview right here but this tweak will hide that completely Finger touch is a pretty cool tweak that allows you to use the home button simply by tapping it, not pressing. So for example, here on the home screen, if I want to go to the app switcher, I can just double tap right there on the home button. Or if I'm on an app, I can just tap there, not press the home button, just tap there and it will take me to the home screen. You can also add different gestures like gestures to tap and hold to lock your device or different stuff you can do all that by going to the settings of this tweak status switcher is a simple tweak that will add the status bar on the app switcher of your device normally when you go to the app switcher there won't be a status bar but with this tweak installed you will have the status bar right there legibility this tweak allows you to change the color of the labels on your iOS 11.3.1 device. You can see right here, I have red labels on the home screen of my device and you can do that by going to the settings of this tweak, enable the tweak right here, then you can choose the primary color right here and also you have other options to customize like the secondary color and all the other colors and shadows right here. So you just enable the option and then select the color that you want. Dummy Pass is a fun tweak for the lock screen. You can see right here, it will change the places of the numbers on the keypad here for the passcode. Now the function is the same. So for example, here I have two, but it's actually a zero. So I can tap there the zeros to open my device. It will just change the display of the numbers, but the function will be the same. Tweak Count 2 is a simple tweak for the Cydia app. What it does is that it shows you here the number of packages that you have currently installed on Cydia. So it shows the number of tweaks and all the packages that you have currently installed. Circle Icons is a simple one for the Settings app. You can see right here, it will make all the icons circles. Normally these icons right here are squares, but with this tweak installed, they will all be circles. No good folder will bring a new look to the folder icons. You can see here's how cool that icon looks is circled and you can see a preview of the apps that are within the folder. Of course, when you open it, it will be normal, just like a stock folder on iOS, but it will change the icon and it makes it really look very cool. Blord is a tweak that will enable black keyboard system-wide. So anywhere you go on your device, you will have this dark keyboard. Under the settings of this tweak, all you have here is a switch where you can enable or disable the tweak. Nude Keys is a pretty cool tweak for the keyboard. It will make the keyboard look flat. It looks really, really cool. So you can set different colors or you can just use like the default color. You can do that by going to the settings of this tweak. You enable the tweak right here and then you can set the background color. If you want to have a background color that you want to choose, you enable it right here and then you pick the color. Of course, you can also enable here the blur just by switching the switch right here. Alkaline is a tweak that allows you to customize the battery indicator on the status bar. So you can choose between different battery indicators right here from the settings of this tweak. So you enable it right here, then you will have theme. If you go here, you have three different themes to pick from and apply them to the battery indicator on the status bar. Transparent Dock is a simple tweak for the dock on the home screen. What it does is that it completely removes the background of the dock, giving your device a much cleaner and nicer look. The tweak doesn't have any settings to configure. System Info is a very useful tweak. What it does is that it will show you detailed information about your device. So if you go to your settings, you go to General and then you go to About. Here you will find all these informations about your device. If you scroll here, you will find all the serial numbers, everything that you need all the de device information right here, you can see them, everything will be right here. So it's pretty, pretty awesome. So you don't need to configure anything. All you have to do is just go ahead and install this tweak called System Info and it will show all these details about your device right here under the About tab on the General in Settings. Roman Passcode is a tweak for the lock screen. What it does is that it will remove the numbers 
on the passcode screen and will replace them with Roman numerals. So you can see right here they look really awesome. It's pretty cool, it doesn't have any options to configure. So that is it for this video guys, thank you for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed the tweaks, go ahead and subscribe for more jailbreak videos and I will see you guys on the next one.